Hey guys, Clyde here live from the Leechburg Light Studio. Hey, last night I just got home from Christmas Expo. Uh, I took a two-day drive down and a two-day drive home. And uh, today is the day to start playing with a lot of the cool stuff that I did pick up from uh, James here. As you can see, a couple uh, pictures of the Dalek Coro trees and the, uh, uh, the P... Uh, the I can't remember what the DEP uh, or D PEX. I can't remember what the name of this black um, material is that he uses. But uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that uh, James has come up with from uh, the displays here uh, at the Christmas Expo. You can see the mega tree strips and stuff. There's some snowflakes hanging in the background. He's got these cool singing uh, trees and um, some other singing objects over here. I didn't get any of the other ones. I'm kind of disappointed I passed them up though. But uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was I got some Coro candy canes, and I love these. They are amazing. And what I wanted to do is set up a model in X-Lite's Nutcracker and also in Lightorama in the Pixel Editor. And I needed to be able to get this template onto uh, an Excel document. And unfortunately, I didn't take a good enough picture, uh, and I didn't take any pictures of these. So um, what I needed to do was I needed to come up with a... Um, another image and I found this image here of a candy cane online now uh, one of the problems that I've been faced with whenever uh, whenever trying to uh, insert a picture and do modifications in Excel with it is that it doesn't work very well for opacity if you've watched some of my other videos I've shown that uh, a couple a couple videos can be or a couple uh, a couple pictures uh, shapes can be uh, modified and so forth and um, in Excel you just have uh, issues, trouble with uh, getting uh, a picture to work correctly in uh, in our needs for uh, setting up models. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and I've already created my candy cane template uh, screen for this. Uh, I have a template, I save this, uh, I don't delete it and then I just copy this and I make a new one. And, what I, and if you're starting this from scratch all you need to do, well, I'll show you how to start this from scratch, let's go in and insert a new worksheet. What you're going to do is I'm just going to make this smaller down here in the right hand screen. I am using Microsoft Excel version 2007. So if you're wondering, 2010 should be really close to this. All I'm doing is clicking and dragging across the top. I'm getting a bunch of rows. I'm going to slide over here, and I'll, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. That's a little too much, but that'll work. Um, and we're going to go to this little this space between these two uh, uh, cells. And when my cursor changes from a plus sign to the arrows to the left and right, I'm going to resize them and make them about 3.0 3 is what I think I did it at. So now I'm going to zoom out and that should make all of my little squares that I had clicked and dragged as uh, little little tiny squares. The reason for this is pixelation. The, the smaller squares you have and the more densely populated the squares are in your image, the better your image is going to turn out in the end in Excel and uh, when you convert it over into x lights. So now that we've done that, I'm just going to delete this because I've already finished it. Go to my uh, setup here. We're going to go in and we're going to go right to the top here. And we're going to go to Insert and Shapes. Now, I tried inserting a picture and it doesn't work. So this is, if you follow this, you're going to have no trouble. So I'm going to click, once again, whoops, I'm going to click on the shapes with the square or the rectangular tool. So once I click on that, I'm just going to click, oh, Shapes rectangular tool now I have little crosshairs there and I'm just gonna go right here and click and drag now I'm gonna look for the letter Z that's 20 that's 26 letters I'm gonna go to the letter Y and I'm gonna go 25 wide and I'm gonna go 50 tall so it's about it's about there we go it's about uh, it's 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 completely rectangular now obviously you can see it's filled in we're gonna fix that here in a second we'll right click and we'll format the shape and when we do this formatting we don't need any we don't need to change this to no fill it'll work and it'll make it clear but you still have a rectangle but we need to add a picture or text file to it now Excel sometimes will have this texture already filled in for you um, in my case I'm gonna go to insert file and I'm going to go to my uh, location where I've saved that copy of the candy cane and it's going to insert that right into there for me now 
once this is inside here, inside the shape, we can now use the transparency slider and begin to lighten this up. So I was pretty happy to learn this. I wanted to share this with you guys because I know that this is something that I'm going to use uh, within my models and so forth. Now, here's the other thing. I'm going to make a copy of this. And the reason I'm going to make a copy of this is because candy canes don't just go one way. Candy canes can be flipped the other way. And how do you do that? So let's go down to Format Picture. And we will go into the 3D rotation. And on the x-axis, which if you're if you're used to if you're not a math person, the x-axis is this horizontal yellow line I've represented here, and then the vertical axis is the y-axis. So um, going into the x-axis, we're just going to change this from zero degrees to 180 degrees. And abracadabra, we flipped our image 100% and now we're able to go in and start labeling all of our numbers into our cells so uh, there's there in, in in this specific model that I'm going to use it's 99 pixels James also has another version that's uh, 48 and uh, I don't have the exact setup on the matrix for that but I wanted to be able to represent this in my X lights nutcracker program now thanks to the magic of computers and and uh, uh, what I've done is I've already gone through and I've completed this task for you so you don't have to watch me click all these numbers in and make it look pretty. Um, but as you can see, if I just delete these images away, you can see that I've got a nice candy cane facing either way. Now, I bought four of these, so I have, I have t uh, two going for each way. And now the next step is we're going to go into Nutcracker. And I don't believe this uh, f this file has any of these set up. So we're going to go into layout and we'll go into the model screen. And fr uh, from this screen, we're going to create a new model. And we're going to call this Corocane 1. And th the display type is going to be custom. We're going to use RGB nodes. And the model width, we'll say, is uh, 25. And the height is 50. So let's make this just a little smaller and make this just a little bigger. And we can watch the magic as we go in. Now I'm going to go back into uh, Excel. And I'm going to copy all of the data right there. It actually didn't come out to 50 tulls, but it doesn't matter. We'll copy the data. And now we'll go back into Nutcracker. And we'll go right here into the Start channel and hit Enter. And as you can see, it auto-filled just nicely. So we've got Corocane 1. Let's change it so that we have the hook. We'll, we'll, we'll name this Corocane 1, and we'll say the hook's facing to the left. So we'll say Corocane 1 left, because the left cane will be facing uh, on the left side of my display. And we'll click OK, and OK again. Now we have our Corocane model right here. Oh, come on, there we go. And uh, if we just resize it, in my display, this will sit right up here in the front. This was the 4th of July display, so it's just the windows and the roof line. But this will sit up in the front, in front of the house. And now, obviously, you can just recreate this. So um, I hope this is a helpful video. I try to keep this short and sweet, but very uh, easy to understand. Guys, thanks for watching. Please share the video. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to, to leave me a message at www.leechberglights.com. And uh, you can you can email me at www. Well, you can email me at uh, leechberglights at gmail.com. So, guys, take care. Have a great one.